Hey, what's up guys? Phil here, and welcome to another Animal Crossing New Horizons episode. Nintendo just released Animal Crossing Update 1.2.0 and included a few new items to unlock. And with the addition of Leaf, the sloth looking fella, we have some customization opportunities with more plants and flowers. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to unlock everything, including the DIY recipe for hedges, and we're jumping into it right now. Alright, and just for a brief moment, we've got a word from our sponsor. Alright, that's enough. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. I'm trying to record. I'm trying to record. Get out of here. Alright. Hey, Leaf. How's it going, man? So, this guy right here is one of the uh, new characters of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Update 1.2. Get out of here! Golly, the stupid squirrels. Alright, uh, so anyways, um, uh, so this guy is new and uh, he, he's going to be bringing us some shrubs, some plants, some flowers that are, uh, uh, from what I understand and what I've read in the community, they are basically um, non-native flowers that you can purchase from this guy. Of course, you can do the, the shrubs and bushes as well. So let's take a look here. Oh, hey, uh, one up, Phil. This isn't uh, isn't this one of the most perfect days to shop for flowers and shrubs too? You're so lucky because today I'm selling azalea. And currently in season, you can enjoy these magical blossoms as soon as you plant this little friend. I'd, ha I'd be happy to know what I can do for you today. And we, as you can see, we've got some different. Uh, plants that we can purchase from him. Now one thing I want to point out here is that these appear to be different for each person. So I've got these, but if you go to somebody else's island uh, where Leaf is at, they'll have different ones. As well as these flowers, and from what I understand as well, these are non-native flowers that you can purchase. So this is really cool. Now Nook's Cranny does have a few more options usually, um, uh, but from what I can tell, these are non-native. I don't believe I started with lilies or roses. I think my my native uh, flowers were mums and maybe tulips, I think. So I'm going to do, I'm going to plant one of the, I'm going to plant some azaleas right here. I'm going to make sure I'm, I think you can plant them one apart, but we'll just go ahead and um, we'll plant three here, then we'll do like, we'll do a couple back here kind of away uh, from each other. That way, just in case something is kind of squirrely with the spacing, they'll still grow. So we'll give those a couple of days to grow. Hopefully it rains so I don't have to water them. Another thing that Leaf is doing, uh, and, and kind of in, in previous games, he would, I think he would come by and actually offer to uh, remove the weeds off of your island for, I guess, a fee or a service. He would do it for you, but now in New Horizons it appears that he'll, he'll give you double the money for each clump of weeds compared to Nook's Cranny. Uh, it is 20 bells per clump, so hey, I mean, you know, double the money, woohoo, you know. Now, something I want to point out with Mr. Leaf is that he appears to be randomly spawning into the game. He's not here every single day, and he's just like any other shop person. He will be replaced with uh, different characters throughout the week. Uh, another thing that I want to point out, and I, and I actually tested this, is that the items that he has here in his shop will swat they will switch uh, week to week so um, if he's here to, you know if he's here a couple days in a row he will have the same items but if he leaves and then comes back he actually brings different items and I, and I can confirm that that happens so in addition to uh, Mr. Leaf the sloth looking fella we have some other things that I want to point out so if we go over to the Nook Terminal Resident Services Terminal, and if we look at um, Redeem Nook Miles, there are some new shirts that you can purchase, and a rug as well. So let me find it for you. Here it is, up here. So now we have this Coral Nook Aloha shirt. Pretty snazzy, pretty snazzy. And then we've got the green version of the Aloha shirt. And then in addition to that, those two shirts, we have a new Bell Bag Rug. Which is pretty cool. I've actually put one in my uh, in my house already. Yes, here we go. This is coming from Bank of Nook. Right? Tom Nook, Bank Bank of Nook, same difference. So we are writing to inform you that we have reduced the interest rate offered to all savings accounts. As an apology for this inconvenience, please enjoy the attached gift. Of course, I've already taken it, and it gives you a uh, bell bag rug as part of the um, apology. And Nintendo, where's the, there's Nintendo. 
So Nintendo thanks you by, since you've downloaded the update and, and um, uh, applied the update, they gave us a present as well. And we can take a closer look at that. So there's the bell bag. Pretty cool. Kind of fits with my color scheme. Got the wood and the brown, so I like it. I'll keep it. And then there's the, the world map. Let me see if I can get my camera out and zoom in a little bit. So, yeah, there it is. Pretty nifty. Hey, here we go. So it looks like the uh, some of the shrubs are fully grown, and it's been four days, and it looks like these guys aren't producing flowers yet, so I'm wondering if they take a little longer. I think trees take four days, and it looks like these guys are taking four days as well, so I wonder how long it takes for for these and um, yeah there we go the oh yeah the hydrangea yeah see I mean the picture showing that it's got some blue hot uh, flowers on it so I wonder how long they take you know what if you guys uh, find out please leave a comment below let me know how long how many days does it take and I will include it in some of the uh, top comment section of this uh, video so everybody else can learn the next thing that we can do is participate in the Earth Day festivities and we can actually unlock shrubs, which are a little bit different. I think they kind of look like this, but but they're different. So let's take a look at our Nook Miles. And it's actually under, if you notice in the top left-hand corner, it has the little leaf. And this is for the, uh, the Earth Day or Nature Day, as they call it in the game, festivities. Limited time Nature Day activities ends on 5-4. So um, you can see on the little top left corner of this particular one is weave flowers to craft a wreath. Now I've seen other people have different tasks just like any of these other tasks will be random. This will be random for each of you. So let's weave flowers to craft a wreath really quickly and see if we can unlock some items. Alright so let me just uh, put this away. I'm gonna grab Actually, you know what, let me check the DIY recipe for this, because I don't remember right off. I think I have to have several different flowers. Come on, wreath, 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 here you are. I could do a mum wreath. So, white, yellow, and red. I've got that. So, I need three of each. So, here's three reds. I know I got some whites. Sure and then yellows. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I keep random flowers everywhere. Because I know I'm going to need them eventually. And it helps with your star rating. So, I'm pretty sure I have to go in here. And I'm just going to use Tom Nook's crafting bench because it's, it's right here. Craft this bad boy. Let's craft! Craft it up. Let's do it. Super speed. I made a mum wreath. All right, got it. Sweet. So let's go and confirm. And when we confirm, we get 300 Nook Miles. But also, if we talk to Tom Nook, I believe he will give us a recipe, a DIY recipe, because we've taken part in Nature Day. That's right. So you're a shining example, one up Phil. You've demonstrated your eco mindfulness. I have a special present for you. Gee, I wonder what it is. Could it be a DIY recipe for crafting your very own hedges? Why, yes, sir, it is. All right, grab that DIY and let's take a look at it. So let's go back to the top. There it is. Hey, that's really cool. So yeah, see, it's a little bit different. It's got the little stone uh, bottom to it, so you can actually make this like a fence. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so awesome. So I've got clumps of weeds, tree branch, and a stone. I've got it all. So I am going to build some and show you guys what it looks like. I am really excited about this because, I, to be honest, like some of the fencing... Um, that you have access to is just really like the Zen fencing is pretty cool but I think the hedge is going to really it's gonna look really cool so let's go out here and I was thinking you know maybe we could hedge in the um, the town the town hall area this resident services building 
I was thinking like we could put we could put some stuff here to make it look really snazzy and put like a little entrance on it. So let me head just so it's ten. So let me put it up here. Actually, hey, look at that. That's pretty snazzy. I like it. You can kind of fence that in. I'll have to dig those flowers up and move them around. Can I put it on this stone? Sweet, I can. So I was just thinking, like, maybe I could have, like, an entrance to this down here. So I have to, like, come right here, walk in, you know, just kind of make it a little more custom, custom built. I think that's really cool. So, so yeah, if you, once you participate in, in a single um, Nook Miles Plus opportunity with the limited time nature day activities, you'll unlock hedges. Um, once you participate in that, receive your reward, go talk to Tom Nook, and he will give you the DIY recipe for that, and, that, and it's really cool. It's a really cool uh, bonus feature to help customize your town, your island. I'm really excited. I'm going to build a lot more of these, and it really, honestly, the, the, um, the resources for this wasn't too bad. Clumps of weed, tree branches, and stone. That's, I mean, that's super easy to, to gather. It's a lot better than having to gather, like, iron or something, so... Really excited about that. Hey guys, check out one of my other videos that's on the screen right now. Be sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed this content.